Anna here at Adventure Science Center's world-class Pseudicum Planetarium with Derek Roll, our own planetarium director, and he's going to show us how we get ready every morning for our Out of This World production. So these are the computers that make the entire, uh, the entire place tick. So first thing we do is turn on all the uh, computers in this rack here. All of them put together make the entire image that the audience sees. So then we've got these computers right here, which we use when we're making a new show. As we continue, we've also got a lot of audio equipment. So what we're going to do is start turning on um, all of that. This just does it in the right order for us. Okay, so now that we know how the planetarium works, um, what, what makes a planetarium such a special tool? In some ways, I think of a planetarium almost like a giant, really unique classroom. So we have these tools to project the night sky or sort of recreate that feeling that people are out under the stars. Even if it's cloudy, even in the middle of the daytime, we can always have that night sky right here. A lot of planetariums these days have digital video across the entire dome. If you went back many, many decades, the way that people would create that night sky is with a mechanical projector. What's unique for us is that we actually have both. So if we want to, we can operate some manual controls and use that beautiful star projector in the middle of the room, or we can also use all of the latest digital tools. No matter which one we're using, everything acts together. Thank you so much, Derek, for showing us exactly what makes this planetarium world class. Yeah, anytime. All right, let's blast off to Dyer Observatory. So now we're here at Vanderbilt's Dyer Observatory with Billy Teeth, the resident astronomer, and we're going to get an up close and personal look at what they do here every day to observe our night sky. All right, well, thanks, Anna. Yeah, I'd be happy to take you in and show you the, the main telescope that we have here, uh, tell you a little bit about the history of the Dyer Observatory and what makes uh, our observatory so special here at Nashville. So at Pseudicum Planetarium, we learned how they used unique and special tools to project the night sky. So what at the observatory do you use in order for us to see the night sky in real life? So the, the main thing in our observatory and at most observatories is a large telescope. So here at the Dyer Observatory, we have the historic Seifert Telescope. Um, it's been here since 1953, and that is one of the main tools that we use to observe the night sky and teach folks about uh, some of the different things that they have probably observed in the Sudokan Planetarium. Awesome. Can we go check that out now? Yeah, that'd be great. Let's go. The Seifert Telescope is the heart of Dyer Observatory. Uh, Dr. Carl Seifert came here uh, in the 1940s and had the idea of setting up an observatory where he could research what others could actually come up and learn about the night sky, including the general public. So uh, to have a very large telescope with an eyepiece where you can actually view through it, that's kind of a rarity. So I'd like to introduce Rocky Alvey, who is the executive director here at the Dyer Observatory. He's going to tell us a little bit about the history of the observatory and astronomy in Vanderbilt. Well, uh, one of the amazing things is Vanderbilt started in 1873. In 1875, Chancellor Garland, uh, our first chancellor, uh, right here in the display case, uh, was given a certain amount of money to purchase equipment. And so he wanted to appoint the astronomy lab and the science lab with hands-on equipment. And we have a lot of the original Garland collection here uh, in the foyer at Dyer Observatory. Many of the instruments were used uh, at the first observatory, which was on campus, uh, up until 1953. That's when Dyer Observatory was built. Thank you so much for giving us an up-close look at what you guys do here at Vanderbilt Dyer Observatory. Is there anything you'd like to tell us about, like the programs or events coming up? Uh, sure, I and mean, we really appreciate you coming out. Uh, we have public events where folks can come up and look through our telescopes, get tours around. Uh, we have concerts up here, and then in the summertime we have camps for rising fifth grade graders. Awesome, thank you so much. Right, thank you.